Good morning. I am Diane Cordell, and I am going to be reading from the Upper Room. It is an original writing that I submitted to the Upper Room back in 2003, and I hope it uh, is meaningful for you today. It's a lesson of comfort. 2 Corinthians 1, 3 through 7 would be a good reading to check out. The Lord says, as a mother comforts her child, so I will comfort you. Isaiah 66, verse 13. Three years ago, my mother became terminally ill. Our relationship became more precious when she was in hospice care. On weekends, I traveled from my home 200 miles away to help care for my mother. It became an extraordinary journey. When I said goodbye to my mother for the last time, she told me that she loved me and that God loved me. My mother's words of faith led me to the Bible. Now reading Jesus' teachings about mourning and comfort awakens memories of her. My mother always comforted me in times of distress. After she died, I reached a point of such despair that I cried aloud asking, who will comfort me? A short time later, there was a knock at my door. To my surprise, it was my childhood pastor coming to see me. He talked with me, told me funny stories about my mother, and prayed with me. Since then, through scripture and study, that memory I have come to, and that memory I have come to see that we are never alone. God comes to us in well-timed visits, phone calls, cards, kind words and expressions of sympathy. God comes to us even though we may not realize it until much later. Please pray with me. Comforting God, thank you for being with us all the time. Amen. Today's thought is watch and listen for God's unexpected comfort. Prayer focuses for those who mourn. Have a great day.